Yuito, want to take a walk around Suo with me? Okay. I was just looking to blow off some steam. Great. Let's go then. I mean, I wouldn't say we've reached peace yet, but it's still relaxing to walk around this city. Yeah, I really like Suo. It calms me down when I'm stressed. Me too. I hope we can truly attain peace one day. In our next story, new information has been uncovered regarding the inhumane experiments conducted at the OSF hospital. That news. OSF hospital chairman Yanagi Ichijo had denied any involvement. But among the leaked data provided by a whistleblower included documents signed by Mr. Ichijo himself. It's unlikely that the ten members implicated in these accusations, including Mr. Ichijo, will be able to avoid any fallout. It seems like the researcher we saved came through. Yeah. The Ichijo family name could be ruined now, but that's better than thriving through evil deeds. How is your family doing? Have your parents experienced any blowback? No. I contacted them, but they really didn't know anything about it. They were actually worried for me that the OSF might try something. I'm glad they're okay. Yeah. I'm so relieved, because for a second I was worried they could be involved. Maybe I'll go visit them soon. What was that sound? It sounded like a crash. Let's go check it out. Over there! An accident! A traffic accident? That's unusual. Excuse me! Do you know what happened here? It seems like the car's auto drive program malfunctioned. The rescue team hasn't shown up yet. Are you with the OSF? I guess that means you can't really do anything. <sighs> Let's get a closer look. Yeah, there might be something we can do. Help! My son is in one of the cars! He's still trapped inside! There's smoke coming from the engine. The kid could be in danger unless we get him out. We don't have time to wait for the rescue team. Let's do what we can. Help! Just hold on a little longer for us. We're going to get you out of there soon. <sighs> it's locked. Can you remove the door with your psychokinesis? I could, but I might accidentally hurt the kid if I try to force it open. If only there was a way we could open it more gently. Okay, I'll try then. What are you going to do? I'm going to use my pyrokinesis to see if I can melt one of the parts inside of the door. That should make it come off easier. Okay, do it. Am I going to die? Don't worry. We're going to save you. Trust me. Can you back away from the door for me? Okay. <sighs> Yuito, you're up. Got it. Here we go. <clears throat> Good job. Your mom is waiting for you. Mom! Thank you so much. I really can't thank you enough. Please, you don't need to thank us. I'm glad your son is safe. Um, thank you for saving me. Hey, I saw what happened. The OSF sure is amazing. Let's hear it for the Scarlet Guardians. What? When did this crowd gather? Everyone, please step back. It's still dangerous. The rescue team just arrived. I think we can leave the rest to them. As much as I want to see this through to the end, we should leave before the crow show up and get in the way. Whew. You were really cool. You acted so decisively, even when that was our first time dealing with an accident. What? No, I didn't. I was just desperately trying to save that boy. Well, I still think that's cool. Thanks. I think I figured out what I want to do. You finally got your answer? Yeah. I had an idea, but today really solidified it. I want to protect what I love, though 
I don't mean someone specific. I love this city, and the people who live here, and I want to protect all of them. I don't want any of them to suffer. <laughs> I agree. I'm done with all this sadness that keeps happening. That's why I want to change the OSF first, so that what my uncle did will never happen again. I mean, they call us the Scarlet Guardians. We need to live up to our name. Guardians? Just like you were back there. T don't tease. But you might be right. Protecting people doesn't just mean fighting. I mean, even if we get rid of all the others in the world someday, accidents like that will still happen. Get rid of them all? I never thought that far ahead before, but you're right. In other words, our fighting ends when we defeat all our enemies. But protecting people is a job that will never end. Wow. I'm so impressed that you'd think so far ahead. I'm proud to be your childhood friend. <laughs> I mean, it might be a big endeavor, but I plan to start little by little. Besides, I only started thinking about these kinds of things because of you. I didn't have any ideals up until now. Seeing you run ahead, I wanted to catch up and run beside you. Then I finally found the path I was looking for. What? I never thought for a second I was running ahead of you. Since I came in as a volunteer soldier, I've always been frantically trying to catch up to you. <laughs> then I guess we both helped each other grow. Let's go with that. Both of us will keep moving forward. Yes. This is the all-important first step, after all. Yuito? Huh? What is it? There's... Something I want to tell you when I feel like I finally caught up to you. What's that? It's a secret until the time comes. A secret? I don't really understand, but okay. I'll wait. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm going on ahead. Hey, wait up! Oh, she's already gone. That's so Hanabi. Thanks, Yuito. For what? I didn't do anything. When I see you working so hard, it makes me want to work hard too. I think I've matured a little, but it's not enough yet. I'm not just going to follow after you. I'm going to get better than you and pull you up to my level. So you better be ready. I finally heard from Major General Fubuki. He asked us to head to Sumeragi Tomb right away. Apparently, the Chief will be there. Kaito... Actually, what's my brother's status now? He's still the Acting Chief, but most of his authority has been transferred and no one has seen much of him lately. My guess is that the government is going to make him take the fall for everything and abandon him. The Chief might have decided to help us because he knows that's what they're going to do. As long as he helps us, it's fine. Now let's head to Sumeragi Tomb.
Kaito. So you finally made it. You want inside the Sumeragi tomb, correct? Right. In order to close the Kunad gate, there's something we need to check inside the tomb. If Karin really is inside, then he is the key to closing it. If, huh? Not only is everything circumstantial, it doesn't sound very credible either. Is this really what you choose to stake everything on? Very well. If you do indeed manage to save the world, it will reflect quite nicely on the Sumeragi name. Is that all that matters? Hanabi, it doesn't matter what he says, as long as he helps us. I've disabled the security for the entrance. Close the Kunad gate. I heard you stopped Togetsu's plan. You managed to avenge her. You did what I had set out to do. So, you knew about Mom's death? Dad and I. We vowed that we'd destroy Togetsu one day. This isn't what I imagined, but it looks like Dad and I got our wish. Kaito. Go. Do what you need to do. This is the path you've chosen. Thank you. Yakumo Sumeragi should be sleeping in here. Let's find out whether our theory was right. If it's actually the former Major General that traveled to the past. So this is what it's like inside Sumeragi tomb. I thought it'd be gloomier since it's a tomb. Yakumo's got a good thing going here. We need to go down. Those stairs go all the way down. I don't think there's any danger to worry about. Let's take them. I don't see any other way down. Yuito Kazane. Major General Fubuki said he'd join you, too. Should we go meet him? No, he said he can't head there right away, so he'll meet up with you later. Copy that. We'll go on ahead, then. These stairs just go on and on! Ugh, what a pain! What's up with this place, Yuito? What? How's this my fault? I mean, it's your family's tomb, right? Install an elevator at the very least, sheesh. Look, a giant mirror. How pretty. Seems too meaningful for just a skylight. Good job. Pretty sure you've reached the bottom floor. Oh, we finally made it. Looks like there's only a single path from here. There's a big space up ahead. That's probably where Yakumo is sleeping. I guess we just need to move forward. I was worried it might be a maze in here to prevent grave robbing. Stay on your toes. Just because nothing's happened so far doesn't mean that it... I just felt something in my brain. What? I didn't feel anything. What's going on? What's happening? Signal is deteriorating. Wataru. Damn. We lost the transmission. Where are we? Is this Suo's OSF headquarters? How did we get here all of a sudden? Oh, maybe there was some sort of teleportation trap. Just calm down and take a better look around you. Something doesn't seem quite right. The city looks a little off. This feeling... I remember it from before. Are we inside a brain field? That is certainly a possibility. Since I felt something interfere with my brain, 
This could be a measure to confuse intruders. Or... Others! This is what happened when we went to the Kronos Terminal. Get ready to fight. Seems like we managed to kill all the others around here, but our situation hasn't improved much. We haven't been able to reach Haruko or Wataru either. We should... huh? Karin? Ta-da! As of today, Alice Ichijo is now an official member. Congratulations, Alice. The three of us are together again. It also seems like we have a mission for our new platoon. I'm going to show you two who the real star member is. I just hope the newbie's over-enthusiasm doesn't make her do something reckless. Oh, really? You know, I heard a certain somebody got written up for disobeying orders. Fabuki. <laughs> I mean, that was your 50th write-up. That's quite the milestone. How could I not share it? They say you're a shoe in for Septentrion, Karin, but I guess you've got some issues with your superiors. I don't intend to follow orders I don't agree with. <laughs> That's so like you. Oh, I guess that just means you'll have to climb to the top of the OSF. Sounds like too much trouble. I'm not interested in looking after people weaker than me. Fabuki can do all that instead. You say that, but you always look after your friends in the end. You're usually more helpful than I am. I think you're more suited to run things than me. Actually, I bet you're really gunning for the position. Stop trying to hide it. <laughs> You've been gunning for the top position from the very beginning. <sighs> Listen to the two of you. Honestly, just take the top two positions and you're all set. That's a good idea. If we take the current organization and break them into regiments, Ooh. <laughs> Stop with the creepy laugh. Don't worry, I don't do it in front of anyone else. You'd do so much better in life if you just learned how to have an outside persona. Not having a facade is one of Karn's better qualities. Although, it wouldn't hurt you to learn to have one so you wouldn't get written up so much. What did we just see? Major General Fubuki. And Karin, right? And Aunt Alice? Oh, right. She was your aunt. The three of them were childhood friends. That brought back some memories. Funny, I had forgotten the color of Karin's hair back then. Now it's completely different from Luca's. That's right. It's a pretty rare phenomenon. So it may have something to do with my brother's powers. That looked like it was from when Alice first entered the Force. That would make it over 20 years ago. If this was a brain field, then I guess it would make sense for it to be affected by someone's memories or emotions. I'm not entirely sure what that was. But first we should figure out how to get out of here. Staying here won't help. Let's see what's up ahead.
do this! You doing it? This one's stronger than the rest. Fall back and regroup. Are you alright? Yeah. Uh, well, thank you for saving me. Keep your guard up, idiot. You're right. Sorry. How many times have you saved me now? Nobody's counting. Are you two okay? Good. Looks like you're all right. Yeah, this idiot just messed up again. I handled it. There's the tough act again. You need to take better care of yourself. You're hurt. What? I'm sorry. You got hurt because of me. Let me take a look. <sighs> it's just a scratch. Alice is tired. Stay with her, Fabuki. I'm gonna check on the remaining teams. We'll need to regroup the platoon if we're gonna kill that other. Hey, Karin! <sighs> it's gone. That one also had to do with Karin. This field. Maybe it's something he generated. To prevent anyone from getting close to where he's sleeping? Even if that were the case, why show us these memories? I'd think he would rather keep them secret. I agree. My brother doesn't talk about himself much, nor does he like to. The memories are probably mixed in subconsciously. Leave it to me! Now! 
to work. Get going. Here we go. I can hit it. Finish it. Now die. Leave it to me. Nice job. Watching you. Me. Enemy brand. You can do it. We should get the kill. There. I hit the outer shell. I think I can break it if I focus my attacks. Next. Here we go. Touch. 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 What happened? That attack worked! There must be a weak spot! Uh, get it! Get it! I can hit it! Go, Bacon! Go. We won't back down! Uh, 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 uh,
be a weak spot. Now die! Let's do this, Nobby! Keep it up! <laughs> 